Hello everybody and welcome to your Beltane Blessings reading, also known as May Day. There are three different maypoles to choose from to bring forth your messages, your blessings. And, you know, for those of you that don't know what Beltane is, it is the peak of spring as we are starting to head towards summer. And it's about fertility and union and creation and celebration. And the maypole is a symbol of Beltane, of May Day. And I'll give you a little bit of information. Um... And the maypole is a popular and familiar image of May Day and Beltane. A phallic pole, often made from birch, was inserted into the earth representing the potency of God. The ring of flowers at the top of the maypole represents the fertile goddess. Its many colored ribbons and the ensuing weaving dance symbolize the spiral of life and the union of the goddess and the god, the union between earth and sky. All right, so look at the maypoles there before you and decide which one is calling you and is going to bring forth your blessing about fertility, union, or creation. I will start with the first one. There are timestamps listed for all of them below. Hello to everybody who chose the first maypole. And if I didn't say in the intro, I will leave a link in the description box below for you to get more information about Beltane if you are interested. So let's get in. What blessings are coming to you? What is Beltane bringing for you? Also, I don't know if I told you, but Beltane goes from the sunset on April 30th to the sunset on May 1st. And we have the white candle, which represents purity, the red candle, which represents passion, and then the green crystal representing the green man, and the pink crystal representing the May Queen, and between the two is the union between earth and sky. And this is my maypole. I actually made a TikTok video of the making of it and give a little bit more information if you're interested. All right, so you guys have the stone circle. In ceremony, you conjure a devotion so deeply it reflects thy worship into yourself. Wow, so that's deep. Um, ceremony, ritual, routine. You've been on the right path, okay? It might not feel that way, but what have you been working really, really hard towards lately? Because this is a message that you are on the right path of that, and now we are entering a time of fertility, right? And what's interesting is this uh, um, Beltane is happening the same time we are having that partial solar eclipse with the new moon in Taurus on April 30th, okay? So it is time for profound new beginnings, um, new manifestations, new creations. So let's do the Beltane spread and see what's happening over the next six weeks from May 1st. This is what is being conceived and grown and then manifested for you. And you're already on the path here. All right, so this is the flame, what needs to be burned away. We have the Hierophant there. This is the soil. This is what's ready to be planted. This is the seed. This is the sprout. And this is the flower. Okay, so for many of you, what this is about is you are trying to leave a situation. It's like a group of people. This could be a specific religion 
or a specific place of worship, like the, the congregation, the group you could be trying to pull away from, or again, a specific religion. This could even be like a marriage or a very long-term committed partnership. This could be a long-standing friendship. This could be a, a relationship with a family member. This could be <clears throat> at your current place of employment, okay? It's just there's a part of you that knows and has been knowing that something needs to change, something needs to give. You need to let this deep, deep commitment go because it's not serving you. It, it uh, prevents the soil from being ripe. And, you know, this is the seed, okay? This is the Ten of Pentacles. This is like ten seeds I see for you that are all planted. But it's like this situation, this belief, um, this group of people really keeps you torn, okay, from going down this path opposed to the path that you're on. And what I'm getting from this reading is you're feeling that you need to go down this other path. That's what the stone circle is about. And this is a confirmation that yes, because once you allow this to fall away, allow the flame to, to burn it away, you come out of this place of worry. So this, you know, really flips this way, which allows the soil to be fertile and allows all of these seeds to take root, okay? Because while we are in a perpetual place of worry, fear, uh, fear-based energy, deep, heavy emotions, we can only sprout those exact things. And so you've been experiencing that, okay? And this right here is just saying, this is what's in the soil and the flower is defend your seeds at all costs. Stand your ground and you are going to prevail. You are on the right path regardless of what somebody is saying, um, regardless of how long you've invested in a, a certain place of employment or a certain career path, a certain relationship. You're being pulled away from that, and it's been happening for a while. And I feel the energy of Beltane, along with that eclipse, is going to allow you to finally break free because you have a lot of seeds planted in the soil that are ready to bloom and bring you a lot of abundance and prosperity and happiness. So let's clarify these further. Okay, so yeah, we've been having a hard time letting this go, though, with the Four of Pentacles. But you've got to also remember with this, this, whatever this Hierophant represents for you, holds you back, okay? The Knight of uh, Wands, yeah, see? Once we let that go, we're no longer worried, we're no longer burdened, and the soil is now quite fertile. And look at the seeds germinate nice yes and this is the sprout and there you are the ace of wands and the flower is the three of cups and look at how perfect is that around the maypole like the celebration of Beltane with them and their little um flower crowns yes 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 see you have a lot that's ready to manifest for you. And remember, this is within the next six weeks. So if you make the choice to walk away from or let this go, and you know what that is for you personally, and follow the calling of your heart because you are on the right path in doing so, you flip this nine of swords and it turns into the knight of wands, which is very fertile, fast moving energy, which means it's going to allow the seeds to grow quite quickly because you also have the magician there. All right. It's like, this is all lined up for you energetically and it's going to sprout up quite quickly after you let that go. All right. And then you are in a place of celebration. <clears throat> you are in a place of great happiness. So let's pull some more cards about this. Okay. 
Okay, a blessing for unity where there was once division. And a blessing on your sleep. And look at what's the nine, nine of swords about. Okay, so whatever this Hierophant represents for you, it truly is a source that splits you and divides you from yourself, from your calling, from your path, from your happiness, from your joy. Okay, and as we release that, you come back into union with yourself. You're splintered energy no more. You are centered. You are grounded. You are confident. You feel more sure of yourself and your past than you have in quite some time. So much so, look at the anxieties gone, the worrying, the overanalyzing gone. You are able to sleep. Um, and that with that sleep is also like a deep rest to the mind what was once really troubling you and weighing you down is no more so if you're holding on to something out of like history um a sense of obligation and and you just know like there's no fulfillment here for me anymore like there's just i i'm empty and i almost it's like you almost have to put on a mask to participate okay um, whatever this is because it just it's starting to feel so far from who you are and spirit is like tap into that feeling because you are awakening something new is blossoming with this eclipse and the Beltane energy and the, the union you know um, Beltane is about union it's the union of yourself with yourself okay and in that space your seeds can grow and they grow they do they sprout Okay, and there's great cause for celebration for you within the next six weeks. So whatever this represents, have no fear in letting that go. Because you are going to be free once you do. And things are really going to start moving for you very, very quickly. All right, so look at this. We've got the first house, the body. So with this first house energy, this is like you need to put you first, but also you are majorly transforming into a whole new like version of perception, of vibration, of being. Let nobody stand in the way of that. Let nobody shame you about that. Make you feel bad. Make you feel guilty. Make you feel like something's wrong with you. Because as soon as you choose your path, that calling of your heart over everything else, I'm telling you, it's just like one wonderful thing after the next, after the next, after the next, after the next starts happening for you. You have like the Ten of Pentacles, Ten Seeds, just ready waiting to be fertilized so they can grow and there's the magician after this is released clarity banish the fog of illusion open your eyes to the truth remember the perfection of who you are yeah Spirit is going to be bringing you a lot of clarity with this eclipse energy paired up with the Beltane energy, all right? And it's like really pointing you to focus on you and your happiness and what it is that you desire the most because you've sown the seed. It's just we've got to let something go so that it can um, have room to grow and blossom and so that your energy can be focused enough to, to nurture them enough to continue their growth far beyond sprout so that the flower can open and blossom and bloom to its fullest potential. All right, here is the artwork. And it says... <clears throat> Oh my gosh, look at the opening line. You are you're afraid to let something to let go of something that is no longer working for you. There is a deep sense of duty or guilt and you feel like you don't have a choice. 
the reality is that you do and ultimately doing what you know feels right in your heart will be best for all concerned. Wow, that's kind of a mic drop from spirit if you ask me. After this whole message we got, it's pretty much just summed up right here, right? Although spirit said it much quicker and more elegantly than I did. But hey, I'm a work in progress like everybody else. Here is the image. Um, yeah, there is a lot of magic, blessing, um, fertility for you. Okay, a lot of things ready to sprout above the surface, which brings you into a place of happiness and celebration. But this is something that must be released, must be let go of or healed. However, that resonates with you like that has got to be released. And the calling of your heart has been telling you so you feel it. Follow that you will not go wrong. I mean, it's been confirmed all throughout the read. But then it was just like literally written out on that specific card, you know, out of an entire deck here. So those are your Beltane messages and there are a ton of blessings ready to roll in and unfold for you within the next six weeks as we let that go. All right, so those are your messages. I am sending you lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everybody who I chose the second Maypole. So we have the white candle here for purity the red candle here for passion, and then we have the green crystal representing the green man, and the uh, pink crystal representing, representing the goddess, and the union between earth and sky sitting under the maypole that um, I actually made, and I put a video of that on TikTok if you're interested. All right, let's get in, let's see. What's happening here with Beltane for you? So from uh, May 1st out through six weeks is what this reading is focused on. Okay, and we're going to pull an opener and then we're going to do the Beltane spread. So let's see, everybody who chose the second May poll, what blessings are coming their way? Okay, so we've got the Rowan, and it says, There's no need to fear, dear one. Protected you are, and protected you will always be. All right, so right away, a message of don't fear the worst, don't expect the worst. You are divinely protected. And when you're divinely protected, that doesn't just mean like you have a... Uh, some angels around you, you know, in the spirit. No, this means that these beings around you can work through people, can move through people and situations to orchestrate and construct things as such to protect you. Move somebody's heart to have your back if that's what you need, to help you out if that's what you need, okay? So the opening message here is for the next six weeks, stop worrying about things and um, instead of being like, okay, how, what am I going to do about this? What am I going to do about this? Start just saying, thank you, angels. Thank you, spirit guides, for being around me, for protecting me, for assisting me, for helping me. And just let that be your mantra over and over and over till you talk yourself out of that worry and that fear-based energy. Because a big, strong message is you are protected. What you are working for is protected. What you love is protected. Don't worry. So let's pull some tarot and dive deeper into this. And we will do the Beltane spread. And also, I will leave a uh, link in the description box below if you want to get more information on Beltane. Okay, so we have the star. This is the flame. This is what must be burned. This is what must be released. And so with the star card coming out, this is something that you greatly, greatly hoped for. Okay. We have the Queen of Cups. This is the soil. 
This is the seed. This is the sprout. And this is the flower. Okay. Okay, that makes sense now with that star up there. All right, so what must be released is your fear of the worst, or it's never going to happen, or this is going to fall apart, or nothing ever works out for me. You've, we've got to rid ourselves of that. We've got to allow the flame to purify us of that, okay? Because the star is a card of hope, of inspiration, of light at the end of the tunnel of wish fulfillment and this being what needs to be released but i see everything else is based on this opening message we've really got to let go of some fear-based energies okay because for you guys that were drawn into the second maypole you guys are emotional manifestors like the thought comes first the emotion comes in like i get it all of that but for you guys, it is so, so, so important for you guys to be in a very emotionally balanced state consistently and not allow anything to disrupt that. Um, this being the seed through the seven of wands saying you must protect your seeds at all costs. Your manifestations and how you do that is by keeping yourself in a very balanced positive and healthy emotional place okay and that's when we start veering off freaking out worrying you start the mantra thank you angels thank you spirit guides thank you god thank you goddess you know just whoever you connect to spiritually thank you for protecting me thank you for helping me thank you for supporting me thank you for having my back because they do and they want you to relax into that energy and into that belief because when you are very balanced you manifest quickly and so what is coming for you in the next six weeks is for some of you what I see here is a really good job offer or like an increase in your pay somehow some way others of you this is like um, a romantic situation where you are finally meeting somebody that's compatible or you're finally getting that commitment okay let's be serious just you and me okay or if um, within the next six weeks this could be a brand new person coming in romantically for some of you that's gonna be very smitten and want to offer you a commitment right away all right um, some of you this is like a new friend a new companion coming in for you um, it feels strong just because we got the Ace of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. It feels strong around money, job, or um, a connection of some kind, romantic or friendship. All right, and when you are really balanced, you are you attract, and the energy is so perfect for you. So let's pull some clarifiers and go deeper. Three of Pentacles. You got Queen of Cups on Queen of Cups for the soil. So yeah, <clears throat> your emotional body is everything. Okay, yeah, Two of Swords, look at that. Guard yourself, your emotions, your seeds, your manifestations at all costs. Block out all energies that counteract or distract you from what you are trying to achieve here. Seven of Cups, nice. You're going to have multiple sprouts. And the flower, we've got the uh, High Priestess coming with the full bloom here. Okay, so with that Three of Pentacles, with the star, yes, your energy is preventing something from being able to actually um, take root and sprout and grow. And it's that really fear-based, worried energy of it's not happening, it's not happening, is it ever going to happen, um, it feels wrong, just being very out of sorts in the emotional body. Um, 
And so spirit is saying to you, like, you're very protected. Like you got a lot of good stuff. Um, as Abraham Hicks would say in the vortex, ready to go. It's just, um, the, the vibration of you, you, you are very fear based. And so you could do meditation for that. There's a lot of free stuff, um, on YouTube to help balance your energy, clear your mind and, and get your emotions in that really good vibrational place of being. You could go get Reiki. Some of you just physical activity and exercise will help rebalance you, allowing yourself a distraction from the worry and the concern and not allowing yourself to go back to worrying and concerning, going to your mantra that all is well, you are safe, you are protected, everything is working out for you and just guard yourself with that because for you, it's like this. Remember, we're looking at the next six weeks. This is 34, so it could be between the next six and seven weeks, actually, for you guys, okay? But as we work on that, I'm telling you, a lot of different things are about to sprout up for you. It's going to improve finances. It's going to improve relationships. And I do see new money coming in. And I do see a new connection coming in, whether romantic or a um, really awesome new companion, new friendship. Okay, that is um, what's in your vortex here. However, we've really got to stand our ground against... Um, others are maybe against ourself and our own thoughts that all is well. The other shoe is not going to drop. It's going to work out. It is going to work out this time. I'm worthy. I'm lovable. Spirit's protecting me. Spirit's blessing me. Spirit has my back. Okay. Because, and thank you. A lot of thank you and gratitude. I just see it around you. So much good. So much good. Don't worry. All right. Let's pull some more cards. A blessing from your ancestors. See, they're with you. They're like, we got you. And they're holding some holly. Look up the spiritual meaning and significance of holly. Okay, and <clears throat> a blessing for the right words. And this right here, the blessing for the right words, I am feeling very strongly is the words that you've been telling yourself because there's, like I said, just a lot of fear-based energy. And so your ancestors, your spirit guides, your angels all around you, passed on loved ones, they've got you, they've got your back. Trust me, they, especially like the animals, the insects, they can move their consciousness through the animals, through the insects. They can use their consciousness to really open somebody's heart if that person is already so inclined to open their heart to you, okay? They have magic that they can work. They have energy uh, manipulation that they can do. And they can only do this if, if you karmically can receive that and you can, okay? You can. You're protected. You're going places. Believe that and guard your thoughts, your emotions, and hold them in very, very high places of vibration so your seeds can sprout and grow and sprout and grow. They will. And then here is the outcome, okay, that not only satisfies you emotionally, but satisfies your soul. Neptune sacrifice. Okay, so this is a reason why you um, struggle is because you have lost a lot. Um, there have been times where you felt like you felt very strongly that something was going to work out or it was a done deal or it was a first year thing just to get the rug ripped out from underneath you. Okay, and to be vulnerable enough to <clears throat> feel protected and guarded by these ancestors, by passed on loved ones, by angels, by spirit guides, like that's, that's taking a big leap of faith 
on your behalf. It feels like a risk. It feels like a potential sacrifice. So there's an acknowledgement of that. Okay. Um, but this is like not an illusion. You've worked really hard. You have these seeds that are just ready to sprout. But we've got to get our vibration a little bit more consistently aligned in that space of feeling very safe. Okay, and that all is well, and it is working out for you, and it is happening for you, because, oh, it is, I I see it for you guys, and remember, this is um, the next six to seven weeks out. partnership okay yeah we picked up on money as well as relationships right learn to grow with others overcome obstacles by working together touch each other's hearts while life lasts and very interesting that this says touch each other's hearts while life lasts when we got that message you know from the energies around you that they can move through the heart space of somebody who is open who's willing to be open to you now if somebody's heart is totally close to you you know they have no power there only those who are you know willing to open and so love romance next six weeks new friendship new companionship next six weeks and you know um those of you where this is like a blessing of money of job you're going to, um, if you're starting like a new job, you're going to meet somebody who is like your kindred spirit. Okay. If you're getting promoted, you're getting a raise, you're getting a bonus. It's because they do think very highly of you and you actually feel like you are in partnership with the company that you're working for. Okay. But this is an energy, um, of no longer feeling alone on some level in some way and now feeling very blessed you know feeling emotionally satisfied also feeling spiritually satisfied so let's pull another card Here's your artwork and it says something you love may be coming to an end and it's only natural for you to be saddened however this ending also provides a new beginning all unfolds for your highest good life is full of transformation and with a new beginning comes a new chapter in the story that is you okay so this talks about the things that did not happen in the past, right? And that's why we feel a li little bit guarded. Um, it's hard to be vulnerable. It's hard to not fear and worry um, about the worst happening, right? It's because of that. That is coming to an end, that experience, all right? It, it's time for you to feel solid ground beneath your feet. A new beginning comes with a new chapter of the story that is you. And that's this energy of Beltane paired up with the um, eclipse that we're having on April 30th into May 1st. Okay, so don't worry. All is well. Call upon your ancestors, your passed on loved ones, your spirit guides, your angels to give you signs and synchronicities that everything is okay and that they are with you and that you are protected and that they can move through nature and through the hearts of those who are open to love you and help you even if it's a stranger okay and there is companionship coming in to your life within the next six weeks somehow some way you know with the butterflies there some of you this might be a new animal companion okay um not planned totally unexpected but is totally going to melt and capture your heart. And perhaps that's the energy needed to really help keep you in a balanced space. And then just boom, 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 like all these manifestations finally start coming forth that satisfy you emotionally and spiritually. Okay, so 
a lot of positive energy. You're going to have a blessing right now from the heavens, from above. And they're giving you the right words to tell yourself so that you can make this stuff come in really, really fast. All right. So those are your messages and your belt and name blessings. I am sending you guys lots of love and light. Take care. Hello to everybody who chose the 3rd May poll. Um, I will actually drop a link in the description box below for those of you who um, want to learn more about Beltane. But we have the white candle here for purity, the red candle over there for passion, and then we have the green crystal representing the green man, and the pink crystal representing the May Queen, and the union between the two, the union between the earth and the sky which is about fertility and conception and things coming in for you. All right, so let's get right into your reading and see what blessings are coming your way within the next six weeks from this Beltane energy. And with Beltane, we have this eclipse happening um, right at the same time. So this is a powerful, powerful Beltane. So let's see what is happening for you guys. Ooh, you got the energy of Beltane itself, the goddess. Make sure to fill it in your bones for you are what you believe. Ooh, you have so much power. You have so much power. Um, see the honey just dripping from her hand and the bees surrounding her. That bees are a symbol of royalty, right? And her having the goblet of honey. You are somebody who attracts really good energy. Um, a lot of powerful blessings, okay? But with this card is also a message of... I don't know why I was putting it up there. Farley, I feel like you guys are royalty. Um, there's a message here of needing to discern better. Okay, um, people, situations, because with this goddess energy, you're so open, you're so flowing, all right? You have a great desire to connect with everybody, all right? You want to find a redeeming quality in every person. You want to be uplifting. You want to be inspiring. You want to be good energy. You're honey, okay? You are honey, and... Um, just look at all the wonderful properties of honey, okay? Like, that's you. Bees are very symbolic for you. So over the next six weeks, if you're starting to see, like, a lot of bees and symbolism of bees, that is a telltale sign to remind you of the powerful energy in which you are, but also to make sure you discern and don't get ahead of yourself um, when you meet somebody new, or you uh, come across a new shiny object. All right, so let's pull some cards and do the Beltane spread and see what is coming for you in these next six weeks. What is blossoming? What's sprouting? All right, so this is the flame right here. This is the soil. Wow, the seed. The sprout. Oh, the flower. Oh my goodness, okay. Um, yeah, this reading right here is the ultimate embodiment of Beltane, the union between two souls, okay? So, um, if this isn't, if you're not questioning romance, um, or wanting romance, wanting an improvement in romance, then maybe try one of the other polls, because this right here, 100% about romance, okay? The flame, 
Now, um, the flame is usually a representation of what must be burned off, what must be let go of. However, in your guys' situation, what I see with that Queen of Wands um, sitting on top of that goddess is you are the flame. Okay, you are the flame and that's like what you've got to know and I understand in the past you know you've been taken for granted you've been used um, you question if I'm so you know amazing I'm deep I'm spiritual I'm sensitive I'm loving I'm a good catch I'm this I'm that why am I not loved um, to that degree and this is a message of saying you don't know who you are like you've got to know the depth of your greatness you've got to be in love with you the same way you want somebody to be in love with you and never put yourself down never talk bad about yourself you need to be your biggest fan your biggest cheerleader you are the flame okay and when you're vibing you're gonna just attract it in because the soil coming through as the knight of wands is so fertile for romance for connection because here's the seed the ace of cups it's been planted and what's next what's next the sprout your relationship and it's interesting um that you know whether you are masculine or feminine feminine or um even those of you who are in same gender relationships like you you seek a relationship with the same gender we're coming through as the god and goddess energy of Beltane, okay, you finding your divine match, your divine union, or potentially you've already met this person, and this is where you're being um, prompted to know your worth and know your value and not fall into any sort of insecurity, jealousy, lacking of self worth. Oh no, because this person is gonna love your fire, is gonna love your confidence. All right, like let that flame just blaze. And this person is like a moth. It, it cannot resist. Okay, this is the sprout, um, sprouting emotions and another person for you. And the flower is the two of you, the union of you two, becoming one, coming together, getting committed, falling in love, um, going to the next level if you're already in this relationship. Okay, um, some of you who have been trying to conceive, that's also what Beltane is about. And this, the next six weeks, is a very, very fertile time for that. Okay, so let's clarify these a bit further. Oh, yeah, so we're just going to put this right here with this goddess because your energy is so strong and over this next six weeks just you the astrological alignment just everything you are in a very very fertile place and you are attracting you have the honey and you're attracting all the bees bees being metaphorical the honey being metaphorical okay there's a lot of positive coming to you not just romance but i do feel some friendships oh my gosh look at that as i said that the Nine of Pentacles, friendships. Yeah, there's some soulmates coming in that are going to be friendships for you. Oh, and we look at, we have the Queen of Cups. And then we have the King of Cups on the bottom. Wow. So much goddess, god energy. And you're reading the Divine Feminine, the Divine Masculine. Just perfect balance, okay? And those are energies. Perfect balance. Look at what's on the bottom. <laughs> There's that King of Cups. Yep, you are the flame. High Priestess. Oh, yeah. Oh, my gosh. The sun. Uh-huh. Um, yeah, very fertile. Those of you that are trying to start a family, the next six weeks look so positive for that. Nine of Cups on the Sprout. And the Five of Swords over here on the flower. Oh my gosh, overcoming relationship difficulties. Overcoming a lot of challenge and struggle. All right, 
You are amazing. You are something special. Your energy is intoxicating. It's honey. It's sweet. So much is drawn into you. Okay, not just people, but energies, blessings, all coming to you. But man, I see over the next six weeks, um, relationship going to the next level, new love coming in. And this is deep. This is a soulmate, new um, friendship connections that are your soulmates. And finally, being able to overcome like difficulty around relationships, whether that's being single, um, a romantic partnership you're already involved in. Okay, you're overcoming that. And I do see so strongly um, for those of you who are trying conception of a child okay if you're not trying to make babies but you still can take extra precaution okay if you're if you're doing stuff that can lead to uh, life if that is not what you're planning because oh my goodness <laughs> there's so much fertility here that I, it's just like um, yeah I had a hysterectomy like um, over 10 years ago and I'm like, shoot, is my uterus about to grow back because <laughs> of how strong this is, okay? So um, love, self-worth, value, the deeply seated in the soul, your soil, your this right here is like your soul is so fertile with Ace of Cups with the sun and the sprout is like a wish come true. Okay, the next six weeks are amazing for you. Amazing. All right, let's pull some more cards. A blessing on your love. Mm -hmm. There you go. A blessing on a battle that cannot be avoided. And that's the battle with self. Okay? For some of you. And then also I do see, you know, that you've been going through it in the relationship. But you guys are going to overcome that. But this is mostly the battle with self where you are coming to a space of just knowing your your worth and your value there's nothing more sexy than confidence okay there's a difference between egotism and then somebody who is just rocking their confidence so sexy and that is you all right be comfortable with who you are every bit of who you are your weirdness your quirks your cellulite your stretch marks your wrinkles Okay, it doesn't matter. Love every single bit of you because you've got it going on for this next six weeks. And um, I just see people so attracted to you and good energies, good blessings just coming to you and unfolding for you. And like the universe itself bowing beneath you saying, what is it, my queen, my king? What do you need? I will deliver. Just wow. You guys, out of the three, this reading is off the charts. Off the charts compared to the other two. Oh my gosh. Jackpot. Sun with spirit. Yes, this is six weeks of blessings for you guys. Okay, you're moving into a very prosperous time and it starts with Beltane and that uh, Taurus new moon partial eclipse on April 30th. Okay, and from there the next six weeks things are just going really good. Like you are favored. You are blessed. This is a time of abundance, of plenty, of love, of magic, of just being surrounded by that goddess energy. And oh my gosh. All right, let's pull another card. You are number one. And the sun again, you got the sun times two. Look at that. Look at that. 
Look at that conception. Some of you might be getting some twins because we got that two of cups there, right? And we got the sun and the sun. Some of you might be getting some twins. And I picked up on that in another reading I did. I don't remember which reading, but it was those twins. I saw those twins. Oh my gosh, twin flames. Twin flames for some of you because this is about love as well, right? Kindred spirits. <laughs> you know, just so that you realize how on point this reading is, just boom, 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 love, 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 goddess energy, fertility, all of that. Watch the other two and see how different this one is. Look at Union. This is like Beltane. Oh my gosh. You have seen and unseen allies draw upon their strength, join forces with friends and flourish, and there is a beautiful Union taking place. Oh, union between you and romance, union between you and a brand new little soul, some of you, you and a kindred spirit. But the blessing is you're finally like really going to see yourself, your true worth, your value. All right, let's pull one final card for you guys. Here is the artwork, and it says, you are focusing purely on the negative, but there is also a positive side you are not seeing. Your mental attitude and thoughts can make things seem good or bad, beautiful or ugly. All is a matter of perception, what you think you shall become. Be positive, for behind the perceived darkness there is much love, light, and good fortune. Yes, think higher of yourself the very end for there is much love light and good fortune headed your way and it's all about you and what you're thinking of you and just knowing that you are all that you are like that message is so strong and now that in knowing that that's about to be reflected to you over the next six weeks in so many different ways you are so so blessed all right so those are your messages i am sending you guys lots of love and light take care